Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw perspective without knowing perspective. Now this tutorial is going to be split into several parts. In this particular video, I will be drawing scenes with one point perspective. And these are the reference photos that I will be using that you can download from the video description below if you want to follow along. These reference photos may look familiar and that's because I have used them for some of my other sketching tutorials as well. By the way, if you guys want to learn more about urban sketching with pen, ink and watercolor, do consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon is basically a subscription website where you can pledge some money to support the artists that you like and on my Patreon page you will have access to all the in-depth drawing tutorials that I have made over the last few years. So let's start with this particular scene. This is a very obviously one point perspective scene. The first thing I look for when I see a scene like this is where are the lines converging. Now please bear in mind that you don't need to know perspective in order to draw perspective. However, if you do know perspective, you can use the knowledge to help you make your sketch more accurate. You can use the knowledge of perspective to help check your work. So um, here I just want to show you where is the vanishing point. It's somewhere around here. To draw perspective without perspective, you will need observation skills. You will need to spend more time observing what you are drawing rather than looking at your sketch. So the more time you spend observing your subject, the more accurate your sketch will be. So for this particular scene, I'm going to draw that tall yellow building in the background first. I'm going to have the height like this with some space at the top for the sky and some space at the bottom for the ground. So this yellow building, or at least for this particular side of the yellow building, it's just a rectangular block. So in this case, you don't really need to know perspective to draw a rectangular shape. Let's have this, uh, a let's make this a tall rectangle. There is some extrusion at the bottom here because this block is on top of some commercial shops. And now for the side here, the right side here, there is an angle and the angle will come down somewhere here. So I will know, I will try to make a mental note where that corner of that building will be. Um, it's about maybe one third or one quarter compared to the full height of this. So I'm going to place my dot here. Um, and this width here, because it's foreshortened, the width of the side of this building is narrow. And I'm going to compare this to the face of this building here, which I have already drawn. And they are about the same width, or maybe this is slightly more narrow. So this is the corner of the building. And now I can just join this. And I need to join it at this point here. Notice I joined, I drew this line lower than the dot because I think this point is actually lower than the dot. So now I can draw this line all the way down and stop right here where there is another building in front. So I have not used any knowledge of perspective yet. I'm just drawing based on observation. I tried to find out where that corner is and try to find out the width here and then just join it. On the left side there is this building that is quite near to Earth and there is this roof here. The corner of the roof um, starts here and the corner of the roof is about one face away from the face of this uh, block here but smaller so it's going to start here and this line, it's very steep. So again, when we are drawing from observation, we need to really go and measure uh, how steep that line is. Usually I will stretch out my arm, lock my elbows and use a pen or pencil to measure that particular angle. And I will remember the angle and draw it on the paper. So this angle, it's really steep. So when you're drawing this, 
you have to remember the angle that you measured. You don't draw this angle based on what you think that angle is. If you draw based on what you think that angle is, um, it's not going to be accurate, all right? So now let's draw this horizontal line to the left side and push this line down. And there is another diagonal line here, all right? Um, again, we need to measure that angle. This angle is almost vertical. This angle, it's going to be like this because it's actually affected by some vanishing point below. But again, we don't need to know perspective to draw this line. But if you know perspective, drawing the angle, getting the angle right, getting the precise angle is going to be like way easier. If you're just measuring like this, uh, it's a bit tiring. It can really exhaust you mentally because in this scene, there are a lot of diagonal lines. Anyway, here I'm going to try to show you how to draw without knowing perspective. And this angle, uh, it's like this. So let's draw it like this. Make sure this angle is not the same as this angle, all right? And then we have another, um, come down like this. We have another angle here. This angle is also not uh, the same as this angle. They may look like they are parallel. In the real world, they are parallel, but when you're drawing, the two angles are actually slightly different due to perspective. And at the bottom here, it goes to the left side. Now this line here, uh, it's at the midway point compared to this block here. And then it goes down all the way. The black area will stop um, right here. There are some windows here. And there are some uh, louvers here. And there are some shops here and also some shops here as well. Let's draw those shops. So generally speaking, I will try to draw the bigger ships first and then draw the smaller ships within the bigger ships. So now I'm drawing the ships within this area. Again, we need to measure the angle. Now you may want to use a pencil. Uh, if you are a beginner, you may find that using a pencil to draw, to get some drafting lines, um, on the paper uh, that would make it easier for you to like draw faster and more accurately later on and it's perfectly fine i'm using red pencil here to show you the lines more clearly and this is something i still do nowadays even though i like to draw straight to ink but for really complicated scenes uh, such as this one sometimes i still use pencils first to mark out the lines Okay, so here um, I'm just going to block out the shapes. Now this red building here, that's like this. Okay. So so far I still uh, have I've still not drawn anything using perspective knowledge yet. All right. So now I can draw and the uh, cars here will um, start. Let's draw the, let's make this bottom part here longer or taller. And the cars will be here. Now, when you are following along with this tutorial, you don't have to draw like the details, just block out the shapes. That would be enough. If you can get the shapes right, uh, there is no, there's not gonna be any problems when it comes to drawing the details later on. But if you draw the big shapes wrong, then uh, the details that you draw later on doesn't really matter because you've already gotten the big shapes wrong. And your scene will be inaccurate. So what makes your scene accurate is actually the big shapes, all right? Okay, so let's draw this here. Notice now I'm just following the red lines that I've drawn. This red building here, the side of this red building, this width here, it's the same as the front. Uh, maybe the front is slightly uh, narrower. Now for this uh, triangular shop house on the right side, this is a bit challenging because 
there are angled lines that go up and come down there are also lines that are supposed to be parallel to the ground but they are pointing to the vanishing point so it's um, it's a bit challenging to get the angles right so we don't need to use perspective to draw those as well so what I'm going to do is to draw the top of the shop house first the circular the semicircular part here this part here will be higher compared to this part here and here I'm going to again measure the angle and draw it down like this so um, this part here there is the loofer right here that is actually that will start here I am using this as a measurement tool so this loofer will be angled like this yep by the way when you are drawing try not to have too many uh, lines like this it's going to make your sketch look uh, fuzzy it's not going to look nice so when you draw a line just draw it with one line don't draw it with so many lines it's going to make your sketch look more confident okay so let's draw the other line here this line here this line here actually comes down it tilts down like this and we need to measure where uh, that point here is going to end it's going to end somewhere here right somewhere here so let's draw it this um, I will also use my pen to align this point to this angled line there yep. now you may find this way uh, of drawing to be quite tedious it is quite tedious but the thing is with more practice all this will become second nature to you right so you will get better at observing the more you draw basically the more you practice the better you will get right and we have another line here um, it's about 45 degrees I would say yeah by the way when you are drawing don't let all the other lines uh, confuse you but you have to take into account all the other lines that you have already drawn and when I am drawing I don't think of myself as drawing uh, buildings uh, shop houses cars I'm just drawing lines and I'm just drawing the angles the thing is when you are when you think you are drawing a building your mind will sort of try to draw that building for you when in actual reality what you should be doing is actually to draw what you see in front of you your scene right focus on your scene so now that we have this big shape here you can um, draw the little details within like this so once you have the big shapes it's very easy to uh, place all the little elements here these are vertical lines for the windows these are just suggestions for the windows for this red building here I will need to divide it into um, a few parts so that I can draw the windows within those parts more accurately right so this is basically how I would tackle this scene so now I'm going to draw like really fast sometimes when you draw really fast uh, it can be a good exercise for you to draw what you see rather than uh, what you think you see because you don't have the time to think and drawing really fast means you don't have to draw a lot of details what you're doing here is actually to practice uh, your observation skills and also your hand-eye coordination and sometimes your sketch may actually look really nice because you are drawing fast when you draw slow sometimes your sketch can look a bit stiff uh, the lines are very rigid yeah so when it comes to drawing fast sometimes it makes it easier for your sketch to look a bit more sketchy more uh, natural nicer okay so you see the scene is starting to come alive let's add 
some people, some trees here, some vehicles in front. Try to draw with minimal lines. Don't draw so many lines when just one line will do. Okay, so this scene is almost done. And for this block here, I can divide it into a um, few parts. One, two, three. And this part here is much longer. And we can add some perspective lines here. The lines on this side of the building, um, they do have to follow perspective. Again, we can draw this without knowing perspective. Here I have uh, drawn too fast. I made some mistakes. So uh, how do you draw? The lines on this side the corridors on this side so what i want to do is to draw this line here first observe the angles of the lines from what you see in real life and then split 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 just draw one line at the top at the bottom and then draw the lines in between and in between in between in between so this will actually help you get those um, those angles more accurately so after that it's just a matter of adding details and now let's see what happens when our observation skills isn't that great or if we are drawing what we think we see rather than what is in front of us so I've just drawn this vertical building again and it looks a bit off because the proportion is a bit off from the photo, I can see the width is much narrower compared to the full height of the building. So right at the start, um, if you get the proportion wrong, then everything else is going to be a bit off because the mistakes will just um, keep on compounding. So in this case here, you can actually, uh, especially if you are a beginner, just use pencils to mark out the shapes very lightly. And later on, you can at a glance look at where those are, whether there is any error with your perspective, all right? Just mark out the shapes, the lines, the diagonal lines very lightly with your pencil first, especially if you are a beginner. All right, um, here let's say I am going to draw the same roof again. This time I'm going to have the roof angled like this, which is obviously off because if you compare the roof, the diagonal line of that roof, it's, it's almost vertical, but here I've drawn it off like this. And it's going to affect other lines as well because now that I have drawn this line like this I cannot draw this line the balcony like this it's going to look really off so here I have to make the balcony like this see how by drawing the first line wrong it affects all the other lines later on you can still draw the balcony but the perspective will be off However, if you know perspective, you can sort of, you can still kind of rescue this sketch, except what you are drawing will not be a true represent. What you are drawing will not be a true representation of what's uh, in front of you, right? And when you get this part wrong, the, when you get the angles of this part wrong, you will also have some problems when it comes to drawing the buildings here. So, are you going to? follow the perspective uh, are you going to follow the angle of this line from real world or are you going to follow the perspective uh, here that you have drawn wrong so that's the dilemma uh, later on when you are drawing and yep You can still complete the sketch no problem, except it's not going to be uh, like a true representation. So the lines that you place right at the start of your sketch, uh, right at the beginning of your sketch, those lines are really important. And here I've drawn this line um, to angle down again. 
yep and this is the red building and for the red building um, should I follow the line from the scene or should I follow the line here from this sketch that I've just drawn okay let's say I let's say I follow the line from real life it's gonna be like this um, in this case here these two buildings this is the red building and this is the, the gray building these two buildings will look um, like they are not uh, parallel not on the same road in fact it looks like they are overlapping each other when in actual reality they are actually just side by side so when you change the perspective that's what's going to happen and also now that I have drawn this line uh, much lower um, this also means that I get to see more of this side of the building when in actual reality this side is actually very compressed and I have neglected to draw this here so now when I draw this um, it doesn't look right so everything um, it's a bit off and it started with this part here and here that makes that really throws off the whole sketch for this photo there are some shop houses on the left side the vanishing point this time around it's on the right side somewhere around here so for this sketch i'm going to draw the big elements first i always start with the big elements first um so maybe i should draw the lamppost first since this is like the longest or the largest element like the tallest element here okay so now i have the lamppost i can draw the building the building is shorter than the lamppost mm, we have the roof here goes up like this comes down like this and we have the roof here this line is not vertical it's tilted slightly there is a signboard here which is not horizontal so when you're drawing um, some of those lines are going to look like they are horizontal but those lines are not horizontal and you shouldn't draw them that way it's going to seriously affect the accuracy of your sketch all right okay um, notice how the sketch is slowly coming to life just by drawing these very simple lines here really pay attention to what you are looking at rather than what you think you are looking at okay here we have a person walking here and we have a truck here the height of the truck it's um, lower compared to the sign to the street sign here we can see some uh, we can see the side of this truck here some vehicles there which I'm just going to mark out as rectangles and there is a taxi here um, the taxi it's about I would say let's use this building as a measurement tool this building it's about uh, one unit so the taxi it's about one unit plus it's, a, it's around here it's about more than one unit away okay this is the taxi the line here the bottom of the taxi here is actually not horizontal it's tilted slightly upwards like this all right so you have to draw that so when you're drawing um, really be observing okay and now we can draw the streets uh, oh okay i think i made a mistake so i should have drawn this truck further away so again i made a mistake here and it's going to affect uh, my sketch so um, but this is not a very big mistake because I can still put that uh, street sign here in front like this right and we have another uh, sorry we have another pole here on the left side and this pole it's further away from the taxi here 
there is also another vehicle the top of this vehicle is slower compared to the taxi we have this line here there are some decorations which I'm not going to draw now so now we can draw the shop houses here it's going to end uh, sorry it's going to end oops wrong it's going to end somewhere here and we have shorter shop houses here and here now this particular scene um, i guess i could have made this more accurate by using my pencil first but um, the perspective it's not that uh, off all right still looks a bit accurate just a bit off but it's not too bad and we can divide the shop houses into oops again the this line here it should be taller than the height of the taxi here so any mistake that you make earlier is going to come back to affect your sketch later on and we have the tall residential blocks in the background the height of the residential blocks will not pass this point here here I'm just going to block out those residential blocks um, like this in as this uh, shapes let's have some trees here and we can draw continue to draw this roof here yeah so yeah so this sketch it's it's pretty much like done so in short draw the big shapes first the longest line first pay attention to observing the, those angles make sure that lines that are not horizontal are not drawn horizontally that is actually really important uh, even though i've been drawing for several years sometimes um, my mind always tells me to draw like those lines horizontally when they are not supposed to be horizontal all right especially for lines that are really close to the horizon lines those lines are um, not as long as the line is not on the horizon line that line is not horizontal right as long as the line is not on the horizon line in this case the horizon line is somewhere here so as long as those diagonal lines are not on this horizon line they are not going to be horizontal so lines that you see here they are not going to be horizontal no matter how close they are to the horizon line if they are not on the horizon those lines are not going to be horizontal that is um, something really important all right so that's it for this tutorial uh, if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below let me know whether or not you have any difficulties drawing perspective accurately what are some of your problems what are some of the issues why do you think uh, you cannot get the perspective right yeah all right um see you guys in the next video